my little intro. I'm going to get my fat butt out of the way and let my 10-year-old daughter take over. She's going to tell you a little bit about herself first, and then we're going to get into our bubble paintings. So I'm going to get up. Hi, guys. Um, so I'm Panda's daughter. Um, my name's Serenity. Um, my birthday is 11 days after Christmas, so I'm going to be 11 soon. Um, and today we are doing some bubble art. So I'm really excited for this. I haven't been on camera for a while, so this is going to be pretty fun. Let's get started. Okay, we're just going to move the camera into a bird's eye view like we always do. So we're going to move. Sorry guys, coming on a bit of a trip with us. We had to move our entire setup to the other side of the room because I didn't have enough room where I usually work for her to be able to do this. So we're still trying to work out the dynamics. All right, do you want to tell them what they're going to need first? Okay, so you'll need bowls for, um, and you'll need some food coloring. Also a straw. You'll need paper or cardboard, whichever one you would like. Some water and some dish soap. So. Okay, so first you're gonna pour not not a lot of water because you need space for the bubbles. So about halfway. So about halfway. So I'm doing four different colours, so I have four different bowls. You can always do two colours or three, whatever you have at home. And don't forget your parents' supervision. And you, if if you're under six years old, please have parents' supervision. And if you want gloves, you can always have some gloves. Okay, so add your dish soap. Okay, so you add your dish soap. It's just a little squirt. Just a little squirt. Not a lot because you don't want it overflowing with bubbles. Okay, which bowl do you want your pink in? I'm just going to jump in and add the pink because it's in a big bottle um, and we don't want any accidents where my craft room is flooded with pink. So I'm just going to jump in and quickly do the can pink tie. the little ones? We can do the little ones. Um, um, also, you need a... Um, you can mix with anything, but I'm mixing with a straw. Give it a really good mix. You want to give it a really good mix because you don't want that dish soap floating. So that one's done. Okay, you can do the rest now. I'm wiping my straw because I don't want any of the colours blending in. If you would like the colours blending in, that's okay. You don't have to clean it. I've got um, blue, pink, green and yellow. That's okay. You're going on a little bit of a ride. There you go, that's better. Okay. Now let's do some green. Com comment below what your, f your favorite color is. I would like to know that. We have one person watching out there. My favourite colour is cyan. Some yellow. It's the same colour as the dish soap. You 
you don't have to use a lot of um, food colouring because you don't want to over colour it. So I'm going to start with the blue. You want to get your paper or cardboard. <laughs> I can't grab it because I'm wearing gloves. Thank you. So I have it here. Sorry if you can't see it. You can kind of see it. So you want to blow out so you get the bubble effect. It did work. So you can't really see it now, but when it dries, you'll be able to see it more. How about we add? So we're adding a bit more so we get colour. Do we do next? Okay, let's try that again. See? That's better. So you want to let these pop naturally. Because you don't want to make a mess. Okay, are you done with blue? Um, I'm going to use it for the next technique. Yeah, do you just want me to put it over here so yes, it's not please. in the way? Yes, please. Let's do this pink, shall we? Explain what you're doing with the paper. Okay, so I'm putting the paper on the bubbles. So um, the bubbles, the bubble colour goes on the paper. It's a bit hard to explain, but this is what we've got so far. I'm going to do a little more pink. In that corner. Please put that over. Uh, thank you. You can always clean up when you're finished, but I'm just cleaning the straw now. Let's do yellow. So I'm doing two techniques. You need more yellow? Yes, please. So I haven't put enough colouring in some of mine. So we're just colouring a bit more. The yellow's starting to turn into orange. Okay, now tip the bowl a little bit. Yep, and blow that one. Now blow your bowls. That's it. Ah. Uh, Show them. It's starting to remind me of um, unicorns. So... Are you done with yellow eyes? Yes, please. Do you want a little bit more green? Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that so we don't make another mistake. Sorry, I'm just talking to my mum. She's in the background just helping me out a bit. Adult supervision. Yep, adult supervision. So we've got the blue, the pink, the yellow, and the green. Okay. Now do you want to give me that one and I'll put it out to dry? Oh. You know, paint it. You want to do your second one? Uh, yes, please. I'll only have the pink and the blue, please. Okay, well, which one first? Uh, the blue. Take your straw. She's just giving me stuff. 
Your area will get a bit messy, but that's okay. Um, if you don't want to stain your table or anything, you can always use baking paper or whatever you have at home that can cover a um, wooden surface or anything. So we've just got some baking paper to help with the mess and stuff. So it can overflow. That's why we're using ba baking paper and um, baby wipes. It's a part of the fun. I just wanted to add, look how pretty this baby wipe is with all the colours on it. <laughs> okay, so you want blue? Ah, uh, yes, please. I'm getting a bit off topic, but that's okay. So now we're doing blue. I'm trying to get it on the pink so I can make a bit of a purplish type colour. So if you guys like, um, so if you guys don't have a lot of colours of food dye at home, um, I recommend using ink out of textures. Mm. You've got to be food colouring because it's kids safe. Or maybe not because it's food colouring and... Okay, are you done? Uh, yeah. You want yellow now? <laughs> and that, that will be it because I don't really like the green. I'm I'm leaving the straw in there. That's our second design. So that's all for today. Um, tell them that coming up to Christmas, it's a really good idea to have these on a like white paper, not cardboard. Okay, so. Um, and so coming coming up to Christmas, um, instead of like just doing this, you can do this if you want to, but if you want to like, if you want to like, um, wrap presents and you really like the designs of what you make, you can always wrap them with, um, the designs that you made. So, yeah, um, thank you for watching, and, um, sorry, I can't end it, I don't think. Yeah, you just say, thank you very much for watching today, guys. This was Serenity with her bubble paintings. We will be back next week with another craft in this group. Keep an eye out. Uh, we're going to be um, exploring a craft for kids that are a little bit older next week. So the bubble paintings today are suitable for ages three and up. Obviously, any age that knows how to blow through a straw to make bubbles and not suck up the food colouring water to drink it. Um, next week we're going to be doing a craft that's aimed at eight years and over. So definitely join us next week. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching today, guys. If you happen to catch the replay, please hashtag replay and we will see you next time. Bye.